Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We're here on this lovely Saturday morning, August 11th, after, after the D23 Parks panel presentation at the Disneyland Resort, do a construction update and a separate video to talk about the D23 announcements, which are mostly California venture focused, and that's where we're heading right now. This video will be the construction update, mm -hmm. downtown Disney, California Venture, and more. Um, but subscribe, and stay tuned because I'll be doing the D23 Parks panel, Disneyland Resort announcements, and a whole bunch of D23 content for the whole week. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Before we start, I want to let you know that, and thank you guys that for giving me the 5,000 subscribers as of supporting my 5,000 and four subscribers so thank you so much for that iconic achievement we'll be having a celebration stream monday on the ask me anything will be uh, ask me anything but celebration 5000 celebration stream we got there yesterday before the parks panel stream happened so thank you so much again i highly appreciate you guys watching every single video and liking and subscribing and doing all that good stuff and i love interacting with you on the streams as well let's go over here at downtown disney we have the earl of sandwich finally open yes you can order and pick up um, there's two Earl of Sandwich locations, the La Brea Bakery location, still open. Um, no update on Porto's yesterday, but I'm sure they'll be in a blog post um, later on. I'll probably start maybe next year. So for the while, there'll be t these two Earl of Sandwich locations open. There's some seating over there on the right and left sides for when you get your meal. So yeah, pretty nice. This is finally open. Over at Parkside Market, the walls are up, the side walls are up, and this is why the monorail is closing tomorrow so I can do some more work on this side work side walls up there the monorail will be closing for maybe like a month or so i feel like as they continue to work on the park side market so a permit have been built for new signs coming to the area to installing blade signs and such for when the facade is done <laughs> the signs at tortilla tortilla joe's have come off and the building is ready for demolition i'm not sure if that's exactly what's happening but this is a very specific building type so i feel like They'd want to start from the ground up on the new barbecue restaurant. So we're waiting for this to start right now. Just the signs are off and no permits have been filed for demolition or anything, but we'll be watching this very closely. It's hard to see because there's double scrim there and there's no like spots for me to look, but the fountain is completely demolished and they're uh, working, doing some paving work on this section right now. This is right next to Tortilla Joe's, so might make this one big project here. The Renwell Creek, Creek Challenge Trail is back open from refurbishment and Chip and Chip or Dale wouldn't have been rocked, walked past over there. But yeah, it's back open for your enjoyment. And yeah, it's getting ready. They prepped it for the Halloween season so they shouldn't have to close again for Villains Grove. It should be back open for your enjoyment. It looks very nice, nice and polished. Some new permanent um, projection boxes hidden throughout the land. There's another area. Looks pretty good. The new DVC Sales Center is finally open as well. <laughs> right now it's closed, but it is open for all DVC members or or for everyone. I think this is like a sales center, so you can go ahead and uh, you know, they're trying to sell you. You can look at some models and stuff. It's also a Welcome Home Center. Right now it is closed, but it is now officially complete. Looks nice. Um, sucks that with all the new stuff coming to California Adventure, they don't, this couldn't go somewhere else and they can open the Blue Sky Cellar because you know i'm sure they have plenty of cool models and stuff to show us but maybe they'll show us the models in some other place in california venture because yeah a lot of cool stuff coming to this park stay tuned for that d23 video oh actually it'll probably be up before this one but yeah pretty cool stuff but yeah golden vine Ryan, golden vine house is now open here's the side of the golden vine or yeah golden vine house <laughs> has some nice large windows here not sure uh, looks like the shutters can open someone is open can get a peek inside and maybe it's enticing people to come in but this is the eye action improvement from the last time they just had rock work here it's kind of closed off but these giant windows do make it nice and inviting pixar fest is over so they're taking away the centerpiece i wonder if they're gonna also repave the floor too uh while they're at it don't know if it needs it but you know they do have construction walls up and the centerpiece looks mostly gone and the walls are still up so i'm sure it's it's a week later so i'm sure they're probably doing some pavement work uh, while they're at it but let's go ahead and go to disneyland check out the haunted mansion and tiana stuff 
Payment work continues at these two locations on the Esplanade Plaza. They'll probably do a lot of more payment work as uh, the seventh anniversary approaches. It's officially happening in 2025. The celebration, I'm sure, will be many months, if not all year long. We'll get more information on that in the coming months, but the seventh anniversary logo was revealed at T23 and it looks absolutely fantastic. Our last announcement for Disneyland uh, entitles The Great Mums with Mr. Lincoln. Walt Disney is coming here as an animatronic in a new show. They'll rotate, it's either going to rotate the, between the two shows, Walt is going to introduce Lincoln, or maybe they'll do one show in the morning, one show in the evening. Um, but yeah, Walt's coming here in a brand new and a big way in 2025 for Disneyland's 70th anniversary. This is one of the most advanced audio animatronics of all time, according to Ke uh, not Kevin Foggy, Bob Iger. So I'm very excited to see what this new show entails and how Walt's movements look like. And with that, that concludes Disneyland's announcements for D23. Uh, small stuff, uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens in 2025 and we have a brand new, or sorry, November 15th, 2024. And we have a brand new poster for that. But other than that, that's it for Disneyland's announcements. Let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite? My personal favorites are obviously the Coco and the Avengers attractions. I'm just so glad Avengers Campus is doubling in size. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up button. Follow me on all my socials for up-to-date information as well as short-form content like TikToks and Reels. And make sure to, if you want to support the channel, become a member for early access to videos just like this one. I have tons of D23 coverage as well as Epic Universe and other Universal coverage for the next two weeks basically. And I'll try to do early, all, all those videos, most of them, will be up early for members. Make sure to become a member for as little as a dollar a month for early access to videos. Other than that, Hope you have a fantastic day, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you again for the 5,000. Appreciate all in each of one, every one of you, and have a great day. Paws are still up by these bathrooms. Hopefully this gets fixed in a timely manner. Something that is going to get fixed is the Jungle Cruise. The tiger scene, which has been in um, disrepair, that uh, the was oh, sudden collapse um, a few months, several months ago, is now finally going to get fixed. Permits have been filed to fix the Jungle Cruise Tiger scene. Should be happening soon. The permits were issued, so uh, the, the attraction shouldn't have to go down because it can happen behind the scenes. But yeah, should expect a new, uh, a refurbished Jungle Cruise uh, Tiger scene in the next coming weeks. The Haunted Mansion is back with a virtual queue. Haunted Mansion Holiday is back. I am not going to ride this attraction today because I chose the California Adventure accidentally. So um, I couldn't get the virtual queue. But I'll be riding this attraction in a couple weeks and doing a POV for you. There's been some nice enhancements inside the attraction. The queue is continuing to have construction. I'm sure that'll open in 2025 with the gift shop. And Tiana's Buy Adventure opens in November 15th, 2024. So um, noon, you can get the virtual queue at 7 and noon. Um, so make sure uh, you do that for the next few weeks. There's been some um, cosmetic changes in the queue, things to make things things to make things uh, feel wider, like this has been moved. More Bayou Cheese have been spot installed in this part of the attraction. The lift hill, the bar and second lift hill, looks just about complete there. Let's try to go over to the Harbor Galley Path and see what we can see from there. They've been testing logs and water recently on a more frequent basis. So, let's see if we can get some of that. I don't think so, though. No water today. But, it was just announced last night that Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens November 15th. It's Friday, November 15th, 2024. So, if you want to be the first day to go on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, it's Friday, November 15th, 2024. Reservations open up next week for that day. Um, I believe they open up next Friday. Uh, because I looked in the calendar immediately it was an, as it was announced, and there was um, there I, the calendar didn't go out that far yet. So Friday, no November fifteenth, twenty twenty-four. Uh, book your reservation in a week. And that is it for Disneyland's construction update. Should be a lot more construction in the next several weeks and years. Um, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for five thousand subscribers. Highly appreciated. Reach that on the stream. This video is coming out after a couple D23 videos have already come out. But uh, stay tuned because there'll be plenty of D23 coverage and Epic Universe and Universal Hollywood coverage as well. 
tons of stuff happening in the next little two to maybe even three weeks. Lots of videos planned, so make sure to subscribe as we're gonna do a deep dive. Um, we're gonna dive deep into the concept art for the Avengers attractions here, California Adventure. Um, the Coco attraction, there's only one piece of concept art, but we'll still dive deep in there. And definitely some of this Disney World stuff like the door coaster. Oh my gosh. Lots to talk about with that one. And Villains Land. Oh boy. So exciting. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for deep dives into that. And become a member if you want to support the channel for early access to video, all those videos and more. And select live streams with a member only live chat. As well as posts and polls and all that stuff. Member only polls and posts on the community posts. You can go ahead and participate in all that. Only $1 a month. Click the join button down below. But if you can't or do not want to, that is okay. Because I appreciate everyone who watches the channel. Even if they don't subscribe. But you should subscribe. As always, have a magical day.